First, it's important to uh, go over kind of what these new names mean. So the WHO, the World Health Organization, recently changed the naming of all these variants because the original names, the numbers, B117, B1351, are difficult for most people to remember. And so they were being commonly referred to by the country of origin, the UK variant or the South African variant. And the WHO really doesn't want any particular country to be stigmatized based on the variant that may have first emerged in that country. So they went with the Greek alphabet, alpha, beta, etc. So that original UK variant, B117, is now the alpha variant, and that's the one that is currently predominant in the United States and has been since about March. But the Delta variant is the one that everyone is concerned about. It emerged in India. Um, and the reason that everyone's so concerned is that you know the alpha variant was about 50% more transmissible, easier to spread between people than the original uh, that, we've, that we first experienced back in 2020. This Delta variant is another 50% more transmissible than the alpha variant. So it spreads very, very easily uh, among people, particularly unvaccinated people. What we don't know yet is whether it also causes more severe disease. Um, there are a few smaller studies that suggest that maybe it does cause more severe disease, but that still, I think we still have to do some more investigation uh, about that. The good news is that, that vaccination, being fully vaccinated, does still appear to be very effective in protecting people from the Delta variant.